Cheers. Happy Tuesday night. We're uh, like nine days out from the start of the NFL season, and of course it's beach volleyball time. Always a good idea to get out and get some exercise. Keep an eye. Tell me if there's a volleyball that's about to come hit us in the back of the head, but uh, we'll find out later. I wanted to give everybody a little update on what's going on with the NFL algorithm. So today at 4.30 p.m. here on August 31st, the end of August, it was the cutoff day for uh, all the teams talking about whether or not they're going to be keeping people on their team or not. Well, well, all those moves and trades, a lot of things happen. For example, looking at like preseason week three here, for example, you had something like the New England Patriots who won a game against the New York Giants 22-20. to well, the New England Patriots let go of Cam Newton today. He is now a free agent. Well, what does that mean? That means that in this master list of all of our players, we have to go back and now we've got to work on Cam Newton because he is no longer where he used to be. He's not with New England. He's now a free agent. And what that's going to do when you do that here is you go back to the projection pivot sheet and you refresh and then you go back to the pick sheet and you refresh and let's take a look at that game which is right here. It would have been 25-19 would have been the projected score. Without Cam Newton all of a sudden look at that move it's now over here and now all of a sudden the game would have been 22-19. Wow how about that that's funny that's so funny. Look at how the score would have been almost exactly what happened without Cam Newton in the lineup. That's crazy. Anyway, so there's a ton of different changes that have to be made. It's going to take me days to go over all the rosters and to figure out what I'm going to do with rookies while we project for week one. However, I, I don't mind giving everybody a little taste. Here's what it looks like right now without any of those changes. So keep in mind this is all going to change once I update all the players and, and rosters. Well, this is what we have so far sorted by projected margin of victory descending. It says that Tampa Bay over Dallas, which is the Thursday night game, is the biggest favorite that we like of all of them. So that's an interesting start, but there's a ton of work to be done. So, uh, you know, if you want to be interested in ordering this algorithm, there are going to be updates. Of course, there are going to be tons of updates as I update all this. And hopefully this, this video doesn't get pulled down because of background music, but we'll find out. Because this needs to be worked on and we need to figure out what we're going to do with all the, all the rosters and everything now. Anyway, that's the, that's the late night update. Um, gosh, sorry. The heck's too much going on. Um, that's the late night update. Uh, I'll be working on it and I'll be sending out. And for those of you who subscribe through the preseason and for September, you're all going to be getting the updates. I would say that... Um, by this weekend, by like Sunday of this weekend, I'll have a lot of these rosters completely fixed up and have an idea of what we're going to do uh, for week one. But week one is going to be different from the rest of the weeks anyway because then we'll have a real stat starting in week two. So a lot to do, but you know, everybody sit back, have a beer, relax. It's going to be a fun season. So good luck and may all your picks be winning.